Last week we looked at Luke chapter 12, verses 22 through 34. And since we're never in a hurry around here, we're going to look at those passages again uh, this morning. I want to, for reasons that will become clear here in a moment, I, I'm going to do a little mini sermon before the major sermon. If that's okay with you guys. You okay with that? Uh, it, it's a little prelude. I just want to call attention to the fact that the passage, if, if you are here last week, you saw that the uh, passage that we're looking at centers on uh, worrying and how to be free of worrying. And Jesus calls our attention to the birds, the ravens specifically. And he says, look at the ravens. Live like the ravens. Live as carefree as the ravens because they don't toil or spin, and yet God feeds them. And just notice that phrase, God feeds them. Uh, it's a theme that you find throughout the Bible that God loves animals and takes care of animals. In fact, the Bible often re- kind of portrays Animals in the world is sort of God's pets, and he cares for them and he calls us to care for them. Uh, in Psalms 104, it says, All creatures look to you to give them their food at the proper time. All right. God loves animals. You may not have uh, noticed this before, but some of the covenants in the Bible involve animals. Uh, they're included in the covenant. God makes covenants with animals. It shows you something about his high regard for them. For example, in Hosea 2, God makes a covenant with human beings, but also with the birds of the air and the livestock and every creature on the ground. And the covenant is that he's going to, uh, there'll be a day that will come when there'll be no more war, no more violence, and there'll be peace on this earth. But, but God includes them in, in covenants. He loves animals. One of the reasons he gives for not destroying Nineveh in uh, Jonah chapter 4 is that there's so many animals that live there. God cares about and loves animals. You find in the Bible uh, a number of rules uh, given in the Old Testament, laws, about how to treat animal, how, how to treat animals. Don't muzzle the ox while it's, you know, uh, while it's working and, and feeding it right and caring for it. You find, you find a, a concern expressed in the law of God about animals. And in fact, and this is a point that we bring up with some frequency here at Willing Hills Church, the first mandate ever given to human beings was to have loving dominion over the earth, and over the animals. We were to uh, extend God's loving care to the earth and the animals. He wants to be Lord over the whole earth and Lord over the animal kingdom, but he wants to do it through us. So that, that is our first mandate. And I've always believed, still believe, that one of the surest benchmarks for how we're doing as a species in terms of our relationship with God concerns how we're treating animals. And on that benchmark, we're not doing so hot, folks. But uh, God cares about the animals. We're kind of conditioned in our culture to sort of just see them as, as uh, useful. All right, there you go. God bless the animals. 